Johnny Depp's attorney responds to Andrew Tate's fiery BBC interview following his release from prison. In a contentious interview with the BBC, controversial social media influencer and former Big Brother UK candidate Andrew Tate addressed the accusations of human trafficking and organized crime brought against him and his brother in Romania for the first time publicly. When asked if he had raped or trafficked anyone, Tate answered absolutely not for BBC reporter Lucy Williamson. The ex-kickboxer and his brother Tristan Tate are accused of rape, human trafficking, and organized crime. When questioned about admitting to using emotional manipulation to get women to work for him in the webcam industry, the former reality TV star adopted a more confrontational tone. No, Tate responded, there is an ongoing criminal inquiry, and I'm not very confident that I will be found innocent. I am more familiar with the situation than you are. You don't know it as well as I do. You haven't seen any of the criminal records or the evidence against me that I have seen. You don't know the real story behind what happened, but I do. The Tates are under home arrest now after being released from jail in early April. Officials from Romania have been conducting an investigation, and an indictment is soon to be expected. Tate has been called a sexist by his detractors. Because of statements he made regarding women, he has a permanent ban from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Twitter, he is still active. Attorney for Johnny Depp comments on the situation. Tate's remarks in the interview took me by surprise, said Ben Chu, a civil lawyer who defended Johnny Depp in his successful defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Chu said on Law & Crime's Sidebar podcast, Given the seriousness of these charges, I do not think he should be speaking out publicly at this point. Chu remarked that given Tate's success as a kickboxer and social media influencer, he could understand the confidence he radiates. But given that Tate is charged with serious crimes and that his remarks will be used against him in court, he thought the tone was inappropriate. It might work for him in other contexts, but it doesn't work for him in the judicial context, especially when he interrupts a female interviewer, acts sarcastically, and tells her that she isn't the boss here, which gives the idea that the underlying accusations might be true. Whether there is or not, it makes a terrible first impression, according to Chu. Law and Crime has repeatedly asked Andrew Tate and his attorneys for an interview. To date, those requests have been turned down.